Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 21-22 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball. Four box, pick your team number 12, the final four boxes of this case that we popped open. All card ship, remember we marked those with X's and I put X12 next to it so we know it's for break 12. X12, probably a, a future BMW model, sounds like. All right, there it is. On the fifth, Labor Day, thanks for spending a bit of your Labor Day with us. Brian with that double last spot mojo. Got the Wizards and the Celtics to finish off this break. I appreciate it. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. And let's see what we got. I think we'll finally get some uh, basketball training camp. It's going to happen soon. I think preseason games are going to start at the end of the month. I mean, September, October, we're really getting into an excellent part of the calendar for just all kinds of sports in general. So I'm excited about that. All right. Uh, I don't think there's been any significant basketball news, right? I think the last big news was Cavs getting Donovan Mitchell, which is pretty huge. Did we talk about Gallinari tearing his ACL playing for Italy? That sucks. Giannis sitting in a Eurobasket game due to knee pain. Yeah, that's not, don't get hurt. Rain in a gym, can, uh, washing out a USA basketball game. Bulls is Lonzo Ball doubtful for the start of the season. And that's been the, the little the little stain on Lonzo Ball's career. His early, he's still pretty young, I guess, but his career just health hasn't been able to stay healthy regularly. But I feel like he can do some damage if he. Uh, He's healthy and really distribute the ball well. Uh, Jody Meeks announcing retirement. I don't know when that news was, but I'm looking at hoopsrumors.com now. Jeremy Lin signing with the Guangzhou Long Lions. Mavs have considered adding a veteran ball handler. Blazers to sign Devontae Kaycock to an Exhibit 10 deal. He was a former Laker. Lakers for a little bit. Yeah, really not too much going on. The Donovan Mitchell move, Patrick Beverly to the Lakers, Kevin Durant staying. I guess he was convinced otherwise. So I'm sure once, once we get some... Uh, some training camps start start going on. Hopefully we'll, we'll get a little more action, a little more clarity on what's going on. All right. We're going to start early with an autograph. Zaire Williams. Dominators autograph. Memphis Grizzlies mark with the Grizz. 11 out of 49. Grizzlies with a pretty, uh, building a, have built a pretty complete team out there. They really do play like a team. And they've got a superstar in John Moran. That's a good formula. 13 out of 149. Jared Allen, they got a similar formula too. A complete young team and adding a potential superstar, a superstar in, uh, in Donovan Mitchell. We'll do a left-right randomizers on these unless they're numbered. And we'll separate those out. Like this one. 59 out of 99. Jalen Johnson for the Hawks to 199. That's for Matthew. Here's our first Jalen Green. That's for Matthew S. and the Rockets. We'll go find some parallels of him. Some hollow parallels would be, would be awesome. Anything low number. Kyle 
Kyle Lowry to 99. And 75 years of the NBA insert Pete Maravich. There, so I remember to randomize those. What's the uh, I'll ask you this, ladies and gentlemen, basketball fans. Who's going to be the, uh, there's always a surprise team, right? A team that doesn't make the playoffs, but does the next year, maybe even makes a surprise run. There's always a surprise team. So the teams in the East that miss the playoffs, Knicks, Wizards, Pacers, Pistons, Magic. Who makes a big turnaround? And with those playing games, that makes it, that makes it, really possible for those teams to sneak in there maybe make some noise and I guess conversely who falls out of the East right the play-in teams were the Nets Hawks Cavs Hornets and that's tough that could be something interesting to think about I think Orlando believe it or not who only won 22 games last year you know, I, I really think that if if they if they're a little ahead of schedule, if something clicks, they can be that that surprise team. In the West, my Lakers, the Kings, Blazers, Thunder, and Rockets missed the playoffs. The play-in teams were the Timberwolves, Pelicans, Clippers, and Spurs. And I think with all the big changes the Jazz are making, maybe the Jazz slip out of that playoff spot. Maybe the Spurs slip out of that playoff spot, so maybe, hopefully my Lakers could slip into a, at least a play-in game, if not better. OKC, that might be another team. They only won 24 games last year, but OKC might be the team with a lot of youngsters and a lot of assets to move. If they're playing well, they could they could make big improvements in the, uh, in the trade window. That could be a good candidate for a team that could Maybe get into the playoffs. The autograph's popping early, so I'm going to set that right up there. Let's see what else we got first. Trey Young looked like it was a different parallel, but maybe just the color was. Oh, there's a Cade Cunningham insert. That'll be for Sean Maddock and the Pistons. Pistons could be that team. They've only won 23 games last year. They could slide up there. Right, Anthony's like, don't count out a healthy Damian Lillard. They could slide into a play-in spot. There's Desmond Bain to 149. And definitely should be Jazz and Spurs falling out, though, in the West. This is for Mark um, and the Grizzlies. What about the, what about the East, Anthony? Who slips out of there in the East? If anybody. A lot of the Lakers' success will certainly be the health of Anthony Davis, especially Anthony Davis and LeBron James. And let's see how effective new Lakers coach Darvin Ham will be in integrating uh, Russell Westbrook in there. Cade Cunningham, Sean Maddock, Detroit. So Adam's pointing out, Adam Cuperin's pointing out, so these 70th anniversaries say PRISM on them. Oh, right, yeah, I think the ones in OPTIC say PRISM and the ones in PRISM say OPTIC. I didn't notice that, but yeah, you're right. A little, uh, little product integration, a little product crossover. Bradley Beal to 190. What is it when uh, 
when like the the members of Family Guy appear in a Simpsons episode, a crossover episode. I feel like there's another word for it. Or when the Simpsons appear on Family Guy. Miss Kaminga, Josh Christopher. guys for the magic there's Franz Wagner 27 out of 99 Chuma Okiki that's Matthew S with the Orlando magic I feel like the cut on some of these cards at least in this box have been way off Behind Van Vliet and behind SGA is a Jalen Green autograph. Matthew Silverstein, congrats to you. Rated rookie on card auto. To the moon. Nice auto. Rockets, that, that's another team that could really do well this year. If all those players start to click a little bit. Anthony's thinking his hot take, Knicks go up. Hornets drop out, assuming Miles Bridges is out. Yeah, I feel like it'd be good for the hobby and it's good for the NBA if a big market team like the Knicks can uh, can play well. It would have been even better to maybe see Donovan Mitchell on that team, but but they did get Jalen Brunson. I feel like Evan Fournier has has really evolved a lot in the last season or two. I think RJ Barrett Got a new deal. Julius Randle, I feel like, took a step back last season, but if he if he takes it back to where we know he can be, that'd be good for the Knicks. I'm sure they're counting on that. Mitchell Robinson is solid. And then I like Emmanuel quickly. Quentin Grimes off the bench. They still got Obi Toppin. Good playmaker there. If Cam Reddish can, can really get integrated in this team too, there's a lot to like on this team. Anthony is a Knicks fan, though, so so a little uh, little grain of salt. Logan, are you booing Donovan Mitchell? Did he ask for a trade? I think he just got traded. We should be booing the Jazz. Unless Donovan Mitchell asked for a trade. I guess I didn't. I haven't really paid attention to that part. Oh, he did. Then, 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 uh, then, boo. I guess. All right, next box. Yeah, I, I hope Brunson works. I feel like when he doesn't have, you know, like he's a ball handler, right? And so maybe having those two ball handlers in Dallas, him and Luka Doncic. Here's Kyle Kuzma for Brian and the Wizards. Maybe didn't quite work out. So maybe if Jalen Brunson's handling the ball the, the whole time, he's able to distribute and score himself. Maybe that'll work. Maybe everything else fits around him. Trailblazers, Ryan Stewart with Yusuf Nurkic and a rated rookie, Kay Cunningham, base. I think the centering is a lot nicer on uh, in this box than the previous one. And Luca Garza is our autograph, a Pistons auto. For uh, Sean Maddock in Detroit. Let's see if we can find his teammate in here, too. Yeah. 
Ooh, and a Josh Giddy. I feel like the I feel like OKC really could have been ahead of schedule if it wasn't for Chet Holmgren's out for the season, right? I think so. But Josh Giddy had a strong season last year. A little injury in the middle there, but Sean Maddock with the uh, OKC Thunder. There's Reggie Bullock to 59 for the Mavs. And there's a Scotty Barnes here for the Raptors. Clever go for the Raptors. Sean Maddock. Matt has the, Matthew has the uh, Mavs. Van Vliet for the Raptors. Dino DNA. So back here as well. Final box coming up. So far, so good. We've got another four boxes in the store right now. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. The next four boxes will be from a uh, from a fresh case. Four boxes from fresh case. Yeah, store is popping. Well, this is the the neighborhood kids. Their uh, their last day, their last sort of vacation day for a little bit. Got to enjoy the Jaspies. A lot of Pokemon being moved out of this shop here. We can run another one of these optic basketball breaks back tonight. We did sell this one out straight up, no fillers. And with, the, with the next four boxes being from a fresh case, I can see us getting another one knocked out. If not more. I know Jason did a lot over the weekend. All right, fourth and final box. Good luck. There's a Zaire Williams, lime green to 149 for Mark in Memphis. I think this is our first Evan Mobley for Sean Maddock and the Cavs. I haven't seen too many parallels of those guys though. It'd be cool to see something low numbered there. There's Devontae Graham to 199, Pelicans. That'll be for Matthew S. And we got a Dan Assell as our final autograph. 96 out of 99. Optographs. And that will be for Matthew and Denver. Love that old Denver Nuggets logo. And the, and the rookies insert Evan Mobley. TC, what's going on, Tyler? How are you? Happy Labor Day. Who has the day off on this Labor Day? I, I obviously don't. But who's got a day off on this Labor Day? How are you, you spending it? Besides hanging with Jaspies for a little bit. It's Jared Butler, 80 out of 99. Ariano with the Jazz.
Uh, Davion Mitchell for the Kings. Darren Porter with Sacramento. Nice, there you go. Adam's got a day off. Spent some time finishing off some NFL predictions. You know, I always tell everybody I'm terrible at futures picks, but I think I'm going to do it. I don't think I've done it in a couple seasons, but I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to work on some picks. Maybe some division picks. I don't know if I'll be bold enough to do conference or Super Bowl picks, but maybe some division picks, maybe some win totals. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll let everybody know. All right. Now let's flip back to random.org. Let me get an extra list here. So that first list will be a left-right randomizer. And the other one was numbered, so it'll be Dallas and Atlanta, Luca and Trey Young, 59 out of 99. One dice roll for both lists. Nice, Logan. Just being lazy. That's okay, too. Just kick back, relax with Jaspies. Four and a one, five times for names, or for both lists, that is. Four and a one, five times. One, two, three, Four and a one, fifth and final time. So right side teams after five. Right side teams will get these cards, the non-numbered cards. This was numbered, 59 out of 99, so we'll do a separate randomizer. Uh, once again, four and a one, five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Dallas gets it, then that will be for for Matthew. There you go. And in fact, it was Matthew Silverstein versus Matthew Shirah. There are two Matthew S's. But Silverstein won it this time. Other Matt S. But thanks for getting in. There you go, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. The next four box break is going to be from a fresh case. So check it out on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. And uh, I'll hoot with you next time. Bye bye.